The mad scientist, Mike Marston, here at Stromquist & Company. One of our customers asked a question, which was? Well, how do you flash the EasyIO controller to be the latest firmware? And it's really simple. But what you need is a paper clip or a wooden toothpick actually does the job quite nicely. Or you can take off the cover. And all you do, or you take the cover off, that's the other way of doing it. Just press it in the service pin button, that's the second one, the nearest to the center of the PCB. You can feel the button click. Let's just push in the power, and the service light will flash quickly. Mm -hmm. And there it is, STS is now flashing quickly. And what that means is it's now in the service mode. And the, the default IP address is always 192.168.10.10 in the service mode. Doesn't matter what you set it to before. And it will reset the IP address of the controller to that. So afterwards, change your subnet, or even back before, change your subnet. Uh, make sure it's working on 10.10 .10 and then go in and change the IP address. So here goes. And you are on. Okay, so now we're, we're in flash mode. We've, we've um, run the reset file. It's still 192.168.10.10. Let's go in, grab the firmware release, which is this one, 504. Press the start. And what it will do is just erase the flash again. And it will shortly just start to install a, a one megabyte bin file. In that file, there's a full backnet stack. There's Modbus, there's Modbus Slave, there's Sedona, there's the Sedona engine, and all the kits. Everything is going in now, which is pretty awesome when you when you think about it. Um, we're 21% done now. That will be finished in about 20 seconds. And then all you do is just repower up when you're finished and you're done. Uh, the best thing then is to run the, the web browser in 192.168.10.10. Just check that you've got the latest firmware upgrade, and then you really are done. Then change your IP address back to where you were. The screen kind of flashes at the end, and that's just telling you that it's finished. We're almost there, and we're done. Okay, so all we do now is just reset the controller, power on, power off, or press the reset pin. When it comes back on, this green light will eventually start flashing slowly. That means it's running normally. So if I now open my browser and go into 192.168.10.10, um, which I should have here. There is the controller just coming up. It will load in a moment and you'll see we're on 504. So we're done. That's it. Okay, so we've now updated the firmware. We've got it to the latest 50.04. It's um, a really amazing piece of firmware. We're really pleased with it. But don't forget, you need to get all your latest Sedona kits up to date. So what you should do is go to our FTP site and download the Sedona folder. It's all ready there for you to go. But what you've got to do in 3.5, in Niagara 3.5, is rename your old Sedona folder and put in the new folder. Let me just show you how you do the renaming because you have to stop the daemon first of all, the Niagara daemon, to be able to do it. So here's what you do. Close your workbench and go to Start, Program, Workbench, Console and type in Plat uninstall daemon and you sometimes you'll get an antivirus so don't worry about that and it did say it was successfully removed that will now allow me to change things in my Niagara directory without it telling me that I can't do so so all I need to do is take the Sedona folder and rename that to be either today's date or you could call it um, 8th of May or something like that and I can just take the new Sedona folder that you've downloaded and paste it in here. That's all you have to do. Then you've got everything up to date and everything will work fine. Okay? Thanks and good luck. Any problems, let us know. If you need to control it or measure it, Stromquist & Company has a control solution for you. With over $2 million of inventory between our Georgia and Florida locations, an easy-to-use online ordering platform, same-day shipping, and a factory-trained team of controls experts to answer your questions, Strong Pussy Company continues in its tradition of offering great service and great products.